It's well known that magicians will use all sorts of sleight of hand trickery to pull off magic illusions. But less well known are the top five psychological tricks magicians use to fill your brain. And the last couple are unbelievable, they even work over video. But first, probably one of the most well known psychological tricks, misdirection. And when people hear that, they immediately think that means exaggerated movements, loud noises, and just generally getting people to look in the opposite direction. Look over there! And although that's not entirely wrong, it is a bit more subtle than that. I'll give an example. If I stack these dice, that's a visually interesting thing. Now, you can see how that would draw your eye line, so let's apply it to a trick. I'll stack the red dice, and the blue dice goes from the top of the cup on three. One, two, three. Now that's still not misdirection, so let's do it again. We'll stack the red dice, this is where it comes in. Blue dice, I'm gonna get rid of that because the misdirection's worked. It's already underneath the cup. Now, you can see how that works. If I, I'll do it again, I'll do it again. If I get rid of the blue dice, gone. It's already underneath the cup. You don't believe me? Blue dice, bang. The bit I don't get is if you're confused by that, where the uh, shot glass comes into it, the shot of Sambuca. You can see our misdirection. <laughs> Hang on, let me start again. You can start to see how, under the context of doing a magic trick, there's quite a lot of scope for misdirection. It's also very human to assume that whilst the magician's talking, there's no way that he could be doing anything sneaky, is there? Whereas that's probably the premise for about a thousand different tricks. For example, this whole time, you think I've been shuffling the cards, but they're still in new deck order. Ace fruit king, ace fruit king, king fruit of ace, king fruit of ace, grouped by suit, put that on your fridge. Which leads us nicely onto trick number two. People make massive assumptions based on very little actual information all of the time. You might look at this empty beer bottle and think, Jack's got a drinking problem. You might look at all these Rubik's Cubes around me and think, Jack's got serious mental issues. And you'd be right in both cases, but we can exploit these assumptions in the name of furthering an illusion. This is a classic trick that works on exploiting assumptions. Empty beer bottle goes inside the bag very slowly, and the idea is the magician's gonna fill up that bottle with beer, slowly, imagine it, filling up, bam, bam, right up to the top. That's all it takes. And based on assumptions that you've made, you now think I've just swapped the bottle rather than filling up the beer. So when I crush the bag, it's a different trick, it's now the disappearing bottle trick. All based on an assumption you made at the start of the trick. Do you see how the perception changes what you're seeing? I'll give you another example. It's dead simple this one. Coin, magician, close up camera so you can see exactly what's going on. And the coin goes in the hand. The coin's gonna disappear even though you've seen it go in the hand. There is no way you won't catch the coin disappearing from the hand. That is the assumption you're making. Now it's not outside the realms of possibility that I can take the coin out without you seeing it. It's more about the fact that you don't think I can take that coin out of the hand without you catching it. See the difference? It's not about the skill of the magician, it's about you think you'd catch me do it. And of course you won't. I've been doing this for years. But do you see the difference there? See a child, a child would immediately point a magician out for that. They go, the coin's in the other hand. But an adult thinks there's no way the magician can do that without me catching him do it. Children are cleverer than adults. Think you can't be fooled? You just were. Look again. Cognitive blind spots is basically fancy man speak for your brain taking shortcuts when processing information. For example, repeated words. You probably never spotted that. You also probably never spotted the fact that the hand has got six fingers. And why would you? Why would you? Your brain doesn't need to process that, who cares? But that's a cognitive blind spot. The same can be said when your brain takes shortcuts when you're watching repeated patterns. Like when I made the coin disappear, I showed you what it looks like when I put the coin in the hand. I repeated it a few times, repeated the pattern so that your brain filled in the cognitive blind spot when the coin didn't go in the hand. You thought the coin was in the hand, you were fooled, you loved it, you put in the comments, I love you Jack, you subscribed, and it's all to do with trick number four. A lot of magic tricks rely on social cues. For example, manipulating your eye line, which is quite easy to do in real life. I have no idea if it works on video. Did, did that work? You tell me. Take the disappearing ball, for example, a little bit like the misdirection stuff. It's all about directing the eye line. Some people even think they see it disappear halfway going up, but it's just the same as fooling a dog when you pretend to chuck a ball. Basically, you know better than Wally 
and he's a nutter. You've been licking piss. A card and a clear plastic bag. The card goes in. The card is bagged, trapped, sealed. There is no way I can get me greasy mitts amongst that card. But I'm gonna make this card disappear, vanish, whilst it's inside the bag. And you as an audience member, you're thinking, there's no way you can do that. It's under test conditions. But that's just mumbo jumbo bollocks. That's nonsense. That's the path of ledger down. I've suggested it so that you think this trick is more impossible than it actually is. So that when the card does disappear, do you see the difference? Do you see how suggestion can make any trick 10 times better? And it's just all up there. It's in your head. It's garbage. It's shite. It's... <sighs> I think we're done. <laughs> I've got mental film on this. If you want to learn more about how our brains perceive magic tricks, I actually filmed an entire magic routine in reverse that the more you watch it, the less it makes sense. It's really good and it'll mess with your head. Have a look at this. And subscribe. <laughs>